Well, I think God has been leading St. Paul from the beginning. And I've been here a little while and I've seen things change, but he has a lot of members who are concerned about other members. They visit them and they help them and they share Christ with them and they share Christ with people even in the grocery store. I believe that um, God designs circumstances to lead us where he wants us. St. Paul has the opportunity to spread the word to people everywhere, whether it be people from different cultures, needs, or backgrounds. The church serves as an outreach to provide the word so that others may come to know him through his word. I feel the child care is a stepping stone in bringing the little ones to him. And the school is an outreach to our children and their parents so that they are not only brought up well academically, but also spiritually. I'm gonna mirror off exactly what these two lovely individuals said. Um, I'm ver we're fairly new to, to St. Paul, but our children have attended the, the, the child care for a few years and it really, it really is about the kids, um, just them building a, a foundation in faith through faith-based learning. Around Easter time, my son Jace uh, just blew my mind. We were driving home. I came in, I picked him up, and we were driving home, and uh, it was it was right before Easter, and he and he told me, Dad, do you know, do you know that that Jesus died because he loved us, and I it it knocked my socks off, and so. Uh, St. Paul does a fantastic job with their, their faith-based learning with, uh, with the day school and the child care. I was asked to join the evangelism committee. This was when Pastor Albers was here. And the evangelism committee was going to follow the Kennedy program. And in the Kennedy program, you were supposed to ask the question, if you died and went to heaven, what, would you, what could you say why you should be able to go to heaven? And this was the most difficult thing for me. I never could ask a question because I thought it was loaded because you were asking people what they had done. So if I, if I was with someone else and they asked that question, it seemed like I always jumped in real quick. You know, <laughs> is it what you've done or is it what Christ has done for you? But at the end, uh, making those visitations with other members was just a blessing to me because I got to meet people and, and see where they were from. As I mentioned before, Christ designs circumstances to lead us where he wants us. And with that comes change. Change can be scary, change can be adventurous, but with that change, we must always remember that he is with us always. Through him, all things are possible. One change that I found a blessing for me was the opportunity to re-enter the education field at a Christian setting. I have the opportunity to teach children and walk with children through God's word on a daily basis. When circumstances arise that are difficult, um, it's important to remember that God always has his hand in everything. And um, I mean, everybody in their daily life faces difficult situations and knowing that he has a plan, everything does happen for a reason. And um, as long as you are true to your faith and you, you place all your worries into God's hands, all those times of doubt and all those times of, uh, all those difficult times that you may encounter, um, you, you'll, come out the, you'll, you'll come out of them having grown as a person, having grown in your faith, and having your love for God uh, just flourished.